Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool product to test out for you guys. I have not tried this yet, but I think it's like the first of this type of product I've seen like in the cosmetics world thus far. It's an ombre lipstick, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is like the first one I've seen. So if you guys see them, let me know in the comments down below, but this one is by Smashbox and it's called the Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipsticks. So I actually was in Ulta the other day and I saw like the whole display and I swatched all of them on my arm so I'll insert like all the pictures of all the swatches so you can get an idea of the colors. They only have a couple different shades but I'm sure if these end up doing well they'll probably release more shades. But anyway, so there's actually three different color lipsticks inside this one lipstick so when you put it on it kind of goes darkest to lightest to give you like an ombre effect so I'm pretty curious to find out if this actually works really well or it just ends up being like a hot mess because I don't have like the biggest lips so I don't know I'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna work on someone with just like normal sized lips because I feel like if you had bigger lips it kind of be like easier to just get all the swipes but I don't know let's test it out first before I start getting into like second guessing myself here I mean, it already kind of looks blended, so I feel like you can't really notice like the whole ombre effect, but I'm gonna take the outer edge and just darken up the outer part. This color is really pretty. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this lightest shade here and just dab it a little bit in the center. All right, so what do you guys think? Um, I'm not mad at it. I, there's definitely an ombre there. It's definitely a little bit darker on the outside, a little bit lighter in the center. Um, I do like how you can take the lipstick and like use the lighter end to put more in the center and kind of line the outside if you need to darken it up a little bit. Um, the lipstick itself is super, super comfortable. It's very hydrating. It blended really easily. Um, it feels very nice on the lips, like very silky. I feel like my theory with like the smaller lips is kind of right. I do have like average kind of smaller lips. So I feel like it wasn't as satisfying putting this on. Mine kind of just takes up my whole lip. So I kind of had to like move it around a little bit to get that ombre. But I feel like if you, this took up like your whole lip, you would see more of like that satisfying ombre. But I guess that's not the point of this lipstick. The point is to make sure it's functional and it is functional. Like I have to say it did what it was supposed to do. If you're someone who does like to ombre their lips often, I think it's a pretty cool idea that you don't have to use a couple different products to get that lip ombre effect. Like using one color lipstick and then another one, using a light one in the center. It's kind of just a uh, all in one type product. You have all the colors you need right there. So I do think it's kind of worth it if you're someone who does like to do lip ombres. Um, I think it would be a cool thing to try for you. So this is kind of going to be a short video just because it was me just trying out a lipstick. But um, I hope you guys got some good information out of it and enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.